What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm of course C and Puma, wherever you may be and however you may be watching. Thanks for making this video a part of your day. So here we are in the backstage area. In the last video, we cut a pretty decent promo and uh, we beat up Sawyer Fulton. And now the game meets us backstage. Good news champ, your hard work has been noticed by the important people, namely me. I'm honored. And duh, sh you should be. Oh, what am I saying? You should be. We've made the decision to bring you up to the main roster. There's a shortage of guys up there due to injuries. What can I do to help? We'll need you to step up into a bigger role on either Raw or SmackDown. Fair enough. Now, we don't know which show it's going to be yet. Well, is that a problem? No, it's a logistics matter. I'm getting everything set in motion in order to bring you in. What, mean, what that means is next week you'll be in your last match in NXT. Afterwards, we'll let you do a promo to say goodbye. This is really the end of my time here? Yeah, do what you think you need to do so you can prepare for all that. From there, well, let's work on that when we're ready. Be seeing you soon. All right, so it looks like the game's gonna bring us up to the show. He's gonna bring us out of the minors and bring us up to the show. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go find Baron, the game. Uh... And then there's Webster. And there's that Drew Gulak looking dude. Alright, come on. Alright, what do you got to say, B-Blade? What you got to say? Hold on, brother. Put the hand down. God dang. Okay, Triple H want, is, was wanting me to let you cut a promo tonight. Did he tell you? I'm telling you. Promo time. No fight? Come on, man. You know I want to fight. Look at a little up close to the tattoos. Very nice. Nope, said something about wanting you healthy for the big match next week. Understandable, but weird phrasing. That mean anything to you? Weird phrasing? You're like the king of the weirdest phrases. Main roster has a lot of injuries, he said. Man, Puma's fired up about all those injuries. Ah, okay. Still, weird phrasing. Go promo it up. Jeez. <laughs> Here comes Puma making his way out to the ring. Let's jump in and start. Hey, quiet down, quiet down. I'm through playing by the rules. Town is a sewer. Um, let's do this one. I'm I, Puma's a heel, so let's do this. For a long time, you've known me to be someone who plays by the rules, who always says and does the right thing. Well, tonight I'm going to say some things that aren't that are going to go against that. Some of you might not want to hear it. Being nice has only gotten me so far. Now I've g just got to be honest. Uh, let's see. Co really? Oh, Puma's not happy about that. Oh, Cassius Ono coming to the ring. Let's just get him in there. Let's do it. What's Cassius got to say? I'm sorry, but I couldn't stand back there and listen to you ramble on any longer. You're putting the WWE Universe to sleep, and that's not why they spend their hard-earned money to come out here tonight. They came here tonight to see a fight, and who knows? Maybe they're going to see just that in a few minutes between you and me. But first, I need to get something straight. Okay, Cassius, you're stupid enough. Don't you dare get comfortable. I'm sure you have a good reason. Hold on, you are interrupting me? You are coming out here and interrupting me? You? Are you he are out here and interrupting me? In case you can't tell, I'm having a hard time believing this. The WWE Universe deserves to be treated with respect not insulted by the likes of you. And trust me, you insult them with more than just your word. Your presence is enough to spit in their face. You mock them with every action you take and every move you make. I'll be watching you. The WWE, I didn't even see what it said. All right. You should be addressing me as sir. Are you going to talk or wrestle? Oh, that was a good one. Are you finished? You sure? All right. Now that you got that off your chest, what are you going to do about it? Because these people didn't come here to see a conversation. That's right. I don't like you. I don't like the way you talk on the mic. I don't like the way you pander to the WWE Universe. I don't like the way you wrestle. I don't like the way you dress or carry yourself. There is nothing about you I like, except I do like beating you up. So I want to match with you. I want to brawl and fight and take you down a peg. Well, Cassius, I don't think that's going to happen. Head back to the playpen. Nice. All of your talk is just that. Talk. You can't wrestle, and everyone here knows it. And I'm here 
because you can't do your damn job. And if you try and prove me wrong, you'll just embarrass yourself. So head back to the playpen, little boy. Oh, Puma's not not giving Cassius a chance here. I'm in a fun mood tonight. How are you guys feeling? I could go for a little dancing, put on a show. Yeah, use a little thunder, a little lightning, show you my moves. Yeah, who wants to see a little impromptu dance-off? What the fuck is he talking about? Um... There's a lot of garbage coming from your mouth. Oh my goodness, that's a good one. There's a lot of stinking garbage coming out of your mouth, buddy. Are you ready to back it up? Because I'm going to make you eat every one of your words, and you're going to like it. Oh, we get last last word. Cool. Um, keep my name out of your mouth. Oh my gosh. You have no idea what I am or what you're dealing with. A little word of advice for your own sake. Keep the Puma's name out of your mouth. Because at any time, I could just slap the taste right out of it. Man, we did we did pretty good. A lot of VC on that one, too. You've unlocked Company Man Level 1. You've unlocked Fan Favorite Level 2. Holy cow. Nice. Oh, okay. We're on the right track. Whatever that means. Wow. He is hounding you at every corner. Yeah. I might have set him off with that last promo. Yeah, no, it wasn't your promo that set him off. But that sure wasn't pretty. I don't know. I'll dig into this, but... Um, well, we'll reconvene tomorrow. Okay, thanks, I guess. So what does that trophy mean? Let's see. Reach level two on a career track. Interesting. So let's let's take a look at the progression. So company man level one, you can now run in on a superstars match at all when not engaged in a storyline. And this allows you to have access to more entrance customization options for a better entrance sequence. Nice. Nice. And we can't look at the champion stuff even though we're on NXT for Pete's sake. Oh no, I don't want to do that. All right, well, let's leave the arena, and we'll start it up again. All right, it's time for the monthly pay-per-view here in December. Okay, we're going right up to Triple H. Hey, get over here a second. Is there a problem? There's no way to soften this. That promo last week, look, that did you no favors. Boy, Triple H is pissed. Look at that. Oh, the forehead wrinkles. The higher-ups are having doubts that you have what it takes to be on the main roster. You can guess who that includes. Um, I want to teach him a lesson. Everything was going fine until that fuzzy bastard crashed my promo. I want to teach him to do that to me or anyone else. Believe me, I understand what it's like to have a person horn in on your big moment. You can use that fury to your advantage tonight. The audience, they're fired up about Cassius now. Let that light a fire under your feet, got it? Show them all and the higher-ups what you can do and earn that spot on Raw or SmackDown. Triple H is cranked, boy. Jeez. All right. So, let's go speak with old B-Blade. There's uh, Roddy Strong. Let's see what he's got to say. Can't wait for your match. Looks like it's going to be a five-star match. Okay. Thanks, thanks, uh, Roderick. That's, that's good. Oh, a little cross-eye action going. Oh, that's the wrong way. Matt. Man, these security guards are friggin' yoked. Anybody in here? Hideo. Never has anything interesting to say. Baron Belay just in here hanging out? Alright. Oh, shoot. Okay, it all comes down to this. One more fight. Boom! Okay. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, I don't think so. My fight with Bobby may have been awesome, but I'm seriously ending things here on a high, night. a high note. Okay, yes, the proper ending. Put on a show for the ages, my friend. Defend the NXT Championship by winning the match. Get a match rating of three stars. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of my way, Baron. Okay, well, as you can see, we are on Monday Night Raw. And something happened to the Elgato that my software just st stopped opening like it was running and it wouldn't come up from the taskbar 
and I just lost everything. So I had a match with Cassius Ono uh, for the NXT Championship, which I won. Then I gave my away, uh, my going away uh, promo, which was amazing. And Triple H said he needed us on Raw, so here we are. And I'm sorry, I we, we just I just lost the whole match and everything else, and it's, I'm quite irritated to say the least. But let's see what's going on on Raw here. Steph, here's Stephanie McMahon. Hey, you're the newcomer. Is no if no one's officially welcomed you to Raw, let me be the first. You keep your nose clean and understand how things work, which you seem to, and I think you'll find a good home here. That's what you're looking for, right? Um, oh, I'm just in this for the glory. I got my eyes set higher. I might be here for now, but I'm aiming for much higher. This right here is the start. Careful you don't trip on the ground where you're walking. With all that, with, with what with your eyes staring up at the sky. I got places to go and the ambition to get there. No doubt. But there you stand, but where you stand is where you stand. You got to know that territory first. I'll remember that, thanks. Glad to hear it. Now, first things, Samoa Joe is our guy. Know it, live it, breathe it. Okay. And understand that also means he's a walking target basically at all times. Everyone will want to take a shot. And me? I want to protect my investment. Makes sense. You poured a lot of time and money on him. Yeah, makes sense. True, I want to see my return. But don't forget, this is also about the prestige. Yours or his? Same thing at this point. Okay, Steph, I feel you. So this is where you come in. I want you to make sure he remains on top. So we have to be Samoa Joe's bodyguard. We're five foot eleven. Being a newcomer yourself, that's the best way to show your quality. Um, yeah, maybe I'll take a shot. Maybe I should take a shot if he's the target you say he is. That would prove I have the medal and immediately earn myself a name. How about the upstart or bold moron? I can go on. Seriously, do you really want to make two enemies right off the starting line? Well, when you put it like that, come on, man. Don't be a rube. <laughs> now get over to Gorilla right now. Talk to our show producer there. He'll fill you in on how you can make yourself useful. Man, Stephanie got pissed. All right. How the hell do I get out of here? Jeez. Speak with Todd Mullen at the production area. Oh, hello, Miz. What's up? Oh, Renee. Anybody down there? Drew Gulak. What's the Miz got to say? What's the Miz got to say? Welcome to Raw. Good to, find, good to have some new talent on the show, finally. Yeah. Renee, what's, what's good? Who, well, let's go see who's in the parking lot. Anybody? We got construction worker, Mark Henry. Anybody over here? The lady. Nobody knows why she's even here. Hey, Renee. Hey, girl. Okay, looks like we're starting an interview. Your career has had an interesting trajectory. What's next on your radar? During the interview, Renee will run ask you questions. The answer is entirely up to you. Two of the answers are popularity to the fan. Two of the answers are influence the company, man. All right. The stronger your interview response, the more popular influence you learn. Um, yeah. What's next for me? Have you been paying attention recently? I'm going to have a nice, long talk with management. It's about time I get the career I truly deserve. I've done everything they wanted. Now it's my time. You're riding high now. Are you concerned that someone will take you down? No one is going to stand in my, ray, in my way. Yeah, this one. Something like that is so low on my list of concerns, it's almost invisible. I got big plans, Renee, to completely conquer and dominate every facet of WWE, and there's no one who can stop it from happening. This is my house, you understand, and everyone else here is just an uninvited guest. All you can say is, point taken. Wow, you've unlocked company man level two. So let's take a look at that. So Samoa Joe is the not is the world heavyweight champion apparently. Intercontinental Channel, the club, Jericho, Randy Orton, and Randy Orton. Huh. Company man level two. You can now brawl on a superstore backstage when not engaged in a storyline. Nice. 
Let's go. Let's go this way and see who else is down here. Maybe in catering. Oh, my, oh, Dana Brooke. There's John Cena down there. Dana, get off the phone. Talk to me. The beauty and thrill of being a superstar is amazing. The travel, the food, the dating, and my favorite, outshining chumps like you. Girl, if I was a woman, I would slap the purple off your lips. But I'm not. Even though you're like bigger than I am. Let's go. Let's go talk to Mr. Cena. Oh, let's go in the locker room. Who's in here? Anybody? Nope. Nope. Oh, man. John Cena's giving the photo guy a, the what for. Hey, John. Johnny. Jonathan. There's rumblings that you're just here to be a hired goon for Steph. Word of advice. Don't get in my way or you'll regret it. So I guess since I'm in a storyline... I can't do much of anything. Nope. I'd punch John Cena right there, right now, in his big old head. We gotta get some VC so we can open more boxes, get some attires. Come on. How about we fast forward this? Alright, hey, Todd. What do you got for us, Toddy? What do you got for us? Stephanie said I'd be seeing you before the match tonight. It's good to have you with us. Welcome aboard. Has she gone over this with you yet? She said you'd have the details. Perfect. So tonight it's Samoa Joe versus Seth Rollins. It's supposed to go off without a hitch, but we'd like you to be that hitch. That sounds like someone else. Not going to lie, this is sounding like you're having me do someone else's dirty work. It's our dirty work. Still, I don't see how that matters. None of us here... None of us are here to play nice 24-7, you understand. Simply put, Steph wants you to run in on Seth before the match starts. How you do it's up to you, but don't let it get to your head and go giving a victory dance for the camera. This is about Samoa Joe, first and foremost. Keep that in mind. You and me are golden. Win the pre-match run-in. Let's take it to Seth Rollins. Here we go, here comes Mr. Rollins. He needs to come on out so we can end this fool. Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, here comes Puma from the back. Per Stephanie McMahon's orders. Bulldog, good grief. And look at this. And I... Back body drop on the steel. Man. Oh, reversal by Seth. And he's going to drop a knee right across our chest. And we're seeing that here. Come on. No. Get those kicks. Get kicked. Bam. And now we're going to put our own self in danger. Put our own bodies on the line here. Here he goes. To finish off Seth Rollins. Knees to the back. But is it enough to end nice. It? Seth Rollins is in trouble. Welcome to the main roster. That's one he hell of a way to make it to the roster. By attacking Seth Rollins, of all people. Samoa Joe is happy about that. I had my doubts when Steph pitched her plan. I figured you'd fail hard, but you didn't screw up. You were really, really adequate. It was an all right performance, I guessed. You would have done the same. It was an honor to lend a hand. Seth deserved every smack. I don't like any of these. While I have respect for Seth's accomplishments, he deserved each, excuse me, he deserved each and every smack. You don't hold back, do you? No, I realize that when you were out there. That's a good habit to get into. You must have learned that from me. Talking hard and striking harder. It's the best way to get to Seth's face to remember me. It was the best way to get Seth's face to remember me. His face might, if he can find it after what I put it through. Anyways, stick in my shadow, don't get in my way, and do whatever I tell you, or what Steph tells you. That's all you need to focus on. 
So, Joe, how... Listen, I got people to talk to. Be seeing you. Boy. Seth, you are a chump. Not Seth. Samoa Joe. Okay, well, that's going to be it. Uh, we finished out our main roster debut, even though... I, I'm, I'm just gut-punched that we can't find... Or, or we lost all the the footage of the NXT Championship and our goodbye promo. That makes me sick. What do you got to say, Roman Reigns? If you want to climb up the ladder of success faster here in the WWE, always pay your respects to management. If you can get in with them, they'll be the ones to open all the doors to success you'll ever need. Trust me. Yeah, we all know you're the golden boy, Roman Reigns. All right, well, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not. And come on back. We'll figure out what's going on on the main roster. And I'll see you soon.